Hello guys, it's Sebastian and finally after weeks of non-stop fixing and days of non-stop cleaning Here we have today with my almost finished room So here is an almost room tour for you guys and the journey of how we basically cleaned this and transformed this into this if you guys would want to see my room transformation or just my room in general how we did it then worry no more because i would not be giving you guys the video and i'll see you later at the end of the video for the small tour that i have for you guys and yep i'm so excited for that so i'll see you later this is the current state of my room hello i am there and my cabinet's not finished yet that's why i'm still in my parents room for the meantime but anyway the only thing that's missing here is the sliding doors later on but i would already come in next week hopefully and yep this is all for now and i'll see you on the actual doing my room video and bye hello guys so today is the 17th of july and it is actually wednesday today and i'm just holding my camera i'm sorry if it's shaky however i just wanted to drop this quick update that my closet door has already been fixed a while ago and the only thing that's left to do is to put a wood stain on it and basically after that i could already move in there after three days because three days is like the ideal time of how long you should leave the cabinets after getting it wood stained and yep i'm super super excited about that and yep i just wanted to drop this quick update and of course guys i'll see you whenever i would already be decorating or fixing my room because we have a lot of things there because we kind of stack everything there for the meantime so yeah it is kind of chaotic at the moment but hopefully next week we could already start with the decorating and fixing my room so i'll see you guys until then <laughs> Oh hello, it's voice over time. So for our third day, we basically just removed all the things in my room and made sure that it would be empty so we could already clean it the next day. So here are the clips of that. Enjoy! So we're finally kind of done with this side only, but we have this side left and we'll be doing that now. So today is actually the next day and we're already able to clear up the room. So this is what it looks like at the moment and a few days ago my cabinet has already been wood stained and the handles were already attached as well. That's why the only thing that's left to do in this room is to actually clean it and decorate it the way I wanted to. But I feel like the final output of the room would be in a separate video which is the room tour just because I feel like I would not be able to finish decorating everything for the meantime because I still have a lot of things to order especially the things that I'm looking for to make this room the best that it could be but it also comes to my aesthetics so I'm super duper excited about that but yeah this is what my room looks like at the moment and later we'll also be cleaning this one and again we'll be inserting things that would stay in this room that we've already arranged it and actually on this side of the cabinet it is still empty However, later on, my dad and I would be attaching rods to it. That way I could hang my hangers there. And especially the clothes that would be needing hangers. And that will basically be it. For the meantime, later on, we would just be cleaning. Again, I'll see you guys later. So in doing the rods, my dad measured and drew dots onto where he'd be fixing the screws later on and here I am basically just assisting him in doing that. We did that in every rod holder and we also used a level to make sure that the rod would be as straight as it could be and he then went on with a screwdriver and a hammer to kind of plot a way for the screw to go on later on and after that he just drilled the screws in place. Hello guys, so today is another day of fixing my room and for today I'm just planning to fix all of my clothes because I have a ton of clothes. I don't know why I have these much clothes. But yep, that is what I'm planning to fill into my cabinet. And actually yesterday my dad and I were also able to finish the rod where we would be hanging the hangers later on. However, we're still planning to put a second rod on the bottom part of the cabinet. That way we could fully maximize the space. 
However, we did not have a bracket yet, which we would attach later on to the concrete. That way it would be much sturdier since we do not have the second row of the rod for the meantime. So we'll just be fixing what we can today. And also on this side, we have placed the back rack over there. But that is just temporary because we might be moving that out of the room later on but i feel like it kind of goes with the vibes i don't know if i would be keeping that in my room or i'd just be putting it somewhere else but for the meantime this is what my room looks like and it is a mess and actually on to this side we have this old study table that we are planning to revamp just because it's rusty and old but i feel like we could improve this and make it work since we still have some extra woods so i feel like we could kind of revamp this we're also planning to remove the wheels and to just make it look more of an actual table than a rolling table and yep that would just be the main agenda for today we would just be putting on the clothes onto my cabinet over here but if we could do more later on i would just be updating you guys and yep we would now begin with fixing my cabinet Hello again, so what I'm placing here is just a cloth that would separate the wood from my clothes that way my clothes would not absorb the smell of the varnish and the wood stain as well and yeah, enjoy this video of my mom and I trying our best to organize my closet. I'll see you later again. the two topmost shelves holding my jackets and sweaters below it are the shirts i use outside then my underwear socks and boxers followed by my house clothes and the last is for my pajamas and shorts and moving on to the next one i place my suits and barongs first then my school related clothes followed by my bottom down polos and the long sleeves as well and onto its right is just my pants collection ranging from my trousers down to my denim ones Hello and welcome to an almost room tour and I wouldn't keep you guys waiting so we would now be starting with this side You've seen this a while ago you guys this is my cabinet it is from floor to ceiling However, we have something new here. We have attached clothes hanger on this side and later on this week actually We would already be putting the mirrors under that as well And below it is my temporary laundry hamper because I not have a big one at the moment yet and here is my bed doesn't have a bed frame just yet but that would also come in sooner or later so i'm not that worried about it and on to my left side which is probably your right right now just have this food tray that i've kind of used as a side table because my bed is on the floor at the moment and having a high side table right now would not be much convenient that's why i've decided to use this for the meantime and place on top of that is my clock that doesn't have a battery yet it is Bugs Bunny and I've had this with me ever since I was a child and I thought it looked like a classic piece and so I decided to just put it here and in front of it is my cinema light box if I'm not mistaken and written there is just the word breathe and even though I know it is a voluntary thing to do breathe I feel like I just want to be reminded to do it not literally but figuratively if that makes any sense at all and beside that is the lamp that I got from Shopee as well, which is in my Shopee haul. If you guys haven't seen that one out yet, I'd be leaving a card above me. And beside my clock, actually, we have kind of like a fruit basket slash tray. And inside of it is just my scalp lotion and soothing cream that I use for my scalp every night. And my planner, which I also use as my devotion notebook. And that's basically it for that side. And onto my right side over here, we have a bag rack that may or may not stay in this room anytime soon because I don't know if I would be still keeping it or not because I feel like it kind of goes with the vibes of my room but I'm not sure if it's too spacious so I might take the one out later on but I don't know for the meantime that would be here and I also have the pendant light that my dad got from City Hardware and below it you can see my guitars my backpack that is placed on top of a wooden chair and just an embellishment of a leaf 
it is in metal and yeah it is actually a candle holder but i just decided to use it as an accent in this room and beside that actually is my sofa bed that you could fold and make it into a bed i got it from my grandfather he gave it to me when we moved in here and i'm super thankful for that and beside that sofa bed is probably the last thing inside my room right now that i haven't explained just yet and that is my plastic drawer set. I don't know where to keep this, but I've just decided to put it there in the meantime. And on top of that are just these old vintage pieces and a globe. And yep, this is messed up at the moment. I don't know how to fix it, but uh, you know, maybe later on this week I would also kind of fix it the way I wanted to. But all in all, I'm so happy of how this room turned out to be, even if it's just a temporary one. I'm already super in love with it. And I'm just super excited for the final room tour that I'll be showing you guys once everything in this room is already finally done. And I can't wait for that. And yeah, I feel like this would probably just be it for the meantime. If you guys enjoyed this video, then give it a big thumbs up. And also, if you haven't yet, click on the subscribe button to be more connected. And to also comment down other video suggestions you'd like to see me do next. Well, <laughs> that's just it for this video. I wish I could make it any longer, but I want to keep you guys bored and all that. So yeah, <laughs> this has been Sebastian. And I hope that we can spread love a little more often. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye. Ni nak berakon tu nak. Awak tu bingit kat sana.